Welcome to Going East. Today was a little bit of a rocky start. We are headed to the ferry to go to Ellis Island. Woke up today, feeling a little sick. That's okay, it's not that bad, but it's also kind of raining, so we had to go back, get our jackets. That's okay, we're on the way to the train right now, and we'll get there, no problem. <laughs> I probably looked ridiculous in that. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. Like, you can't bring skateboards onto the ferry, but you also, there's no storage space for them around it. So, we're going to just kind of, you know, use a bush. <laughs> if somebody's searching through bushes to get to some get skateboards, skateboards then, then good for you. Yeah. <laughs> We made it, we made it through security, made it through everything. agreed that if Chris buys me this and lunch, I will wear this everywhere for the rest of the day. day. We just changed. Oh, yeah. Now uh, I'm buying Chris yeah, lunch and he's going to wear that all day. <laughs> You're looking good. <laughs> Legit, I'm just going to forget I have this and tell somebody to F off. Yeah. <laughs> That speaker was very loud. Got back from the Liberty Island, step where the Statue of Liberty is, and now we are on Ellis Island. I honestly don't know a ton about this place. Alright, we just got a tiny overpriced pretzel. Find us over for lunch. After spending a long time in the museum, we realized that the next ferry was boarding and thought that it was the one that we had to be on, so we sprinted to it. But in the end, it ended up being one that just went to New Jersey instead of Manhattan, so we waited in another line. After an awesome excursion to Ellis and Liberty Island, we were back, and it was time to see if the skateboards were still there. This is the moment of truth. Oh good, these two are... Woo. Yes! That is how you store skateboards in bushes. So, I've heard of this place. At night, I hear that this looks really cool because it's totally blue light. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> wow. This is an Oreo churro. I think that's good. It's alright. Quick stop to Subway for lunch. Okay, so since I'm buying Chris's one, he decided to go to Chipotle rather than uh, Subway, like Weston and I. We are in New York City. In case you've been living under a rock or something. So nice. That's fine. The little kid attacks me with noise.
Okay, well here we are, the stock market bull. I've seen many a picture. So I just made us go all the way back to Times Square just to get a single photo, uh, but we did, and it's sick. So now <laughs> we're going back to the apartment. We're gonna get the ticket from the parking garage that we're at, pick up the car. It was our last few moments in the city, and I couldn't believe that we had just stayed in a place that I had always wanted to go. By the time that he logged it when we got here, we legit had one minute to spare. It was 4.29. But we did it. I am job, honestly boys. shocked that hey. we got here in time. Hey, 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 oh, hey. hey. We got the car, then packed up to get ready to go back to Allentown. Got everything in somehow. Of course it is 4.54 driving through New York City and five o'clock traffic. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be rough. It's kind of sad actually. It feels like we've been yeah. here for like a month or so. Yeah. It's only been like five days. <laughs> yeah. It's been fun. It's been chaotic and more things have gone wrong in this city than all the others. Yeah. But I mean that's kind of expected with such a giant place. I also have this sick water bottle now. Alright, to celebrate the end of the road trip, a very successful time, we're having some Cokes. Hey, <laughs> It almost worked. Woo. Yeah! To another. Here's to many more adventures. I say after I drank it. <laughs> we're in Pennsylvania, which isn't even relatively close to New York. So when people see me wearing this, they're gonna be like, this kid's absolutely whack. I think we should make this trip very lengthy so we can- And then everybody can see Chris with his little hat and yeah. Clay with his sunglasses <laughs> and Dude, doors. should I just hold up a freaking, <laughs> should I hold up like a freaking torch? You guys got a torch? <laughs> Listen to that silence. I know. Oh, Man, I coming from so New much. York, this is like, I mean, nobody could tell that we came from New York though. <laughs> like, there's no way to notice. <laughs> And just like that, we were done in the East Coast, and it was time to head back west. Today is a driving day. After attempting to fix my glasses, and almost getting it, we were off. And just like that, the trip was coming to an end. I was filled with an emotion that's hard to describe. It was a combination of excitement to get home and sadness that it was over. It kind of left me in a blur, and it almost felt like the last 13 days of adventures had never happened. Hey, it's Claysville! Hey. Two cars. Three. That Three thing cars, there has yeah. Or hazards hazards on. Too. They just randomly turned on their hazards All at the same and they're just time. creating a wall. I don't know what could be happening. <laughs> oh, no, they turned the hazards on. What the crap? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right uh, now? Gosh. <laughs> I'm calling Chris. I got to play some Mario Kart really quick. <laughs> and there's a semi. The day passed by very quickly and was filled entirely with driving. Two miles to KFC. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot you were actually filming that. <laughs> well, that's where we're going. <laughs> we just arrived at Subway. Chris is gonna get food here. Weston's not hungry somehow because he's a robot. No, and I am going to Taco Bell 
and KFC. <laughs> I drove about eight hours. That's the longest I've driven consistently, um, but it was good. Felt good. Uh, now it is Weston's shift. He's taking the night shift because I have to wear these sunglasses because my freaking normal glasses are still broken despite my efforts. After struggling to find a place to stay, we finally found one and got some sleep, getting ready for the next day of travel. Good morning. It is a beautiful 8.48 a.m. at the hotel. We're gonna go down and get some breakfast. It was our last full day of the entire trip. Chris just went crazy in the elevator and fell over and stuff, and then I had to apologize for the people uh, walking into the elevator for this crazy man. <laughs> they had a good laugh out of it. <laughs> it was crazy knowing that it was almost over but we decided to make the best of it. Yogurt. Here we are, St. Louis. You're seriously gonna skateboard with a toothpick in your mouth? Yep. Instead of just driving to our next location, we decided to stop into St. Louis and have a little fun. This is even bigger than I imagined. This is insane. He's running up these stairs. It's so freaking hot. There's so much humidity. How you feeling, Weston? Uh. Oh, we made it. Uh. Here we are, the Mississippi River. <laughs> Guys, the brick goes really far down here. You can see how the water level is. Also, this is another time I wish I wasn't wearing jeans. Uh... We were skating down this little hill. Weston wanted to go up to like the skate path, but Chris and I were like, let's go on this fun little road that goes up and down right by the river. <laughs> we both hit this little patch, both trying to stop. And in the course of like 15 seconds, it was this dramatic like flip flop around and then we fell. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> hey. Well, that was the first time I've fallen on my skateboard this whole trip. I'd say if you're skating around New York City for the first time, it's pretty good. Weston's taking the next shift of driving. We're gonna go to a lunch place that my mom found in Kansas City, and we're headed to Wichita, Kansas. It's crazy, it's like an 18th century style building. Kansas City, it is 99 degrees Fahrenheit. And humidity. So much humidity. After looking around for a while, we found this place. Yo! <laughs> It's got an onion ring and everything. <laughs> Fire! They do not need fire out right now. So Chris made the boast that it's so hot here right now, it's like 99 degrees, that if he pours water out on the cement here, it'll have evaporated in two minutes. So we decided to test his theory. And surprisingly, he was pretty close. We headed to Wichita, and then it was time for our final day on the road. And we're off, like a herd of turtles. Welcome to Nickerson. I want to give you a little bit of a tour. We are walking down the brick road. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful day. Hot, sticky, pretty gross. This is Nickerson City Hall. As you can see, it's smaller than the rest of the buildings. We can check out the community center. 
<laughs> community <laughs> potluck every Tuesday. Yes, every please. Monday. And there is the infamous yeah. Sunshine Sorry. Cafe. Yeah. And it has a golf cart parked in front of it. So a quick rundown, we are low on gas and so we took Google Maps to a gas station which didn't exist. So now we're hoping we can make it 14 miles back to a gas station we already passed. Hope everything turns out okay. Super sketchy, it. but we made it! Yes, it's a we made it! it. Oh. <laughs> my shift of driving almost hit a deer and almost ran out of gas. My shift is going to go a lot better. Now we're like an hour behind schedule. This is going great. We're in Colorado! Woo! We Woo! passed the line! We're like a minute and a half away from my house. This is, wow. It kind of doesn't feel like we haven't ever left. It feels like it was yesterday that we were driving the other way on this road. It's crazy. We are now cleaning out the Subaru. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it is messed up in here. Is back in town. Yes. Oh man. That's us. It's good to see you guys. Yeah, it's good to see you too. As I walked around my house, I came to the realization that it was over. The trip was done and we were back home. It almost felt like we had never left in the first place. It was truly one of the best times of my entire life. Thanks for joining us on our crazy adventure. Now get out there and go on your adventure. <laughs>